So let's try and ignite something for the Raven Guard in me, okay? Let's try and make me like the Raven Guard. And we'll do that by reading from Horus Heresy Book 2, Massacre. And this is gonna be an interesting one since it relates to the Ishvan 5 Massacre. Hopefully we'll get that Ishvan 3 at some point, but we'll have to wait. <clears throat> Know that this is through the visions and eyes of a Raven Guard veteran. So, let's begin. The assault zone landing was hell. Hell like nothing I've seen before. Nothing like anything any of us had seen before, I suspect. Legion fighting Legion for the first time. Our enemies, our enemy was ourselves at our worst. Our own sins come to claim us. My squad were one of those granted the honor of being part of the Raven Guard contingent of the first wave of the assault, the Vanguard. Our drop was to be led by Ferus Manus himself, and our target was the defense lines right at the foot of the fortification line. Any closer, and we'd have smashed into their void shields. We had one task to storm the line, occupy the enemy while the main drop came in behind us, then fell back. Focus their attention on us, focus their guns. It was not a mission with a high chance of survival, but we volunteered. We all did. And so that Lord Korax himself had to draw lots to see which of us would fight in the vanguard, and which would deploy with the bulk of the Legion. I had fought in perhaps 33 drop assaults in hostile, into hostile zones before, but nothing like this. Neither the orcs at Belfagor, nor the Terocrati dissident at Lux Majoris. The worst I've seen matched the fury that met us. It was like dropping into a wall of shellfire, even with the orbital suppression going in ahead of us. I don't know how many drop pods were smashed out of the sky before they could land. And without the death storms, we wouldn't have made it out, the, out of the crash zone alive. My Talon pod had been knocked off course by Flak, and we came down hard, crashed half buried into the sidewall of a trench redoubt, and we were taking fire before the doors blasted clear. We came out firing, full auto into a hailstorm of bolts, and in seconds we were right amongst them. Emperor's children. But not as I remember them. They changed, twisted. Their armor was smeared with soot and dried blood. And some had necklaces of bones and trophies like tribal headhunters. They screamed at us, laughed even as we smashed through them. You could even hear it above the roar of gunfire. The laughter, and through their helms somehow, it sounded wrong. Insane. It was just killing then. Survival. There was no room for maneuver, no room for tactics. Their armor was as good as ours. Our weapons matched. It was bloody attrition. No advance, no quarter, no respite, only dying. We were out of shells inside of minutes. Then, it was scavenge from the dead, if you could, and keep fighting. My talons smashed through. Five fallen. Five still fighting. We, surv we survivors made for the flak guns we had sighted from orbit. Safe under the shields, but not from the ground. Not from us. Nothing mattered but that. But time was against us. We had stirred up the hornet's nest. Melta guns that point blank. 
crack charges. We hit three sentry guns, took out the coupling, couplings for an Icarus battery. But that was all. They were on us. Boiling up out of... I think it's boiling us out of the bunkers. Whirling up from the tunnels and the trenches. Hundreds of them. Thousands. They were waiting for us. Imperial Army. Once, half mad legionaries in with them. Sons of Horus, I think. Driving them on with whips like slavers. I called the fallback. My sergeant was dead. And I was next in the chain of command. Strike and fade had been our orders. Our legion's way. The sky was black with dropships and landers. We had done we had done what we could for them. The horde came on us came on after us like a tide. My talon was in sight of the Iron Hand's assault spearhead when the traitor's cannon fodder caught us and swamped us. I was drowning in bodies, smashing left and right with my fists, crushing skulls, splintering bones. But there were so many, so damned many. My armor was falling, failing. The joints were jammed up with gore and shrapnel. One of them jammed a stubber right against my faceplate, fired, and my auto senses blacked out. They were weighing me down. A hundred fists battering at me, blades scrapping, looking for a way in. Then came the fire. It was the Averni. The Iron Hands Averni burned them. Burned them off our backs. The fire washed over me, and I felt it burn me in a hundred places where my armor had been breached. But I endured it. The humans did not. The ashes of their bodies caked me like dried mud, casing me in. They cracked and broke apart like driftwood as I stood up. I will never forget that sound. I hear it in my dreams. My armor was fatally compromised. I had to detach the power unit and get back to the lines for resupply. That's how I survived. After I rearmed, I fought with the rear guard to defend the drop zone and won clear with Lord Korax. No one lived who stormed the fortress line near the end. I alone had survived of my talon. I was last. My armor's chronograph readout had fused in the Averni's flamer fire. I only noticed afterwards. Seven minutes. All that I told you happened in seven minutes. So much death in that short span. And so much more was to come.